Hey guys, it's M4J here and welcome back to the M4J Network here on OpenTTD. It's been a very long time since I said that in a live episode. Look, I am here, no time lapse or anything like that. Oh god, I've got to be careful moving the mouse like that because my monitor is standing on top of a wooden frame and it's a little bit shaky. Uh, hopefully I'll get that sorted this week, but yeah. Anyway, welcome back to the M4J Network here on M uh, OpenTTD. Today, I am going to try and build a cruise terminal and get some cruise liners operating on the map. And I think it's only going to be one to start with, but with scope for more in future. That is the plan anyway. Um, so I was scouting some locations for where this cruise terminal could go. And I'm thinking, because I want one in Guard City. There's going to be some here, there and everywhere across the map. But I'm thinking for Guard City, the best place for one would be up here at Lay Hill. Mainly because I don't want one right in the city centre because you just don't see that. It's always like on the outskirts. Um, and I think this is a good candidate to have... Um, so I'm getting distracted here looking. I'm just trying to see where ships would be routed through as well. So I think this is a good option. I think this is a good option. We'll see if this is in fact a good option. But I think Lay Hill is a good idea or Linding Hatton. I nearly settled on Linding Hatton because it's it's right on the shore here. And there's loads of these um, fishing harbours and things that I could use as kind of eye candy. And then just put some docks in between. But I like the idea of Lay Hill. Uh, not just because the station's here, and by the way, the um, the cruise terminal won't be connected to the existing station, it will be separate. But more the fact that it has got this huge connection here, so you've got the overground, the city line, uh, nor northern city line? City line. Capital line, that's what it's called. I get the real one and the, the fake one mixed up. The northern city line is the real one, to Moorgate. Um, this is the capital line, and also it's the terminus currently of the HLR. So I think this is a good spot to have like a bus station anyway for the city, kind of like Slenston. Um, and then there will be shuttle buses that run to and from the cruise terminal, which I'm probably going to put over this area here, but also have it wrap around into this area. So this bit here is the entrance to God City North. So I don't want to intrude on that. Uh, speaking of that is a lot of freight we've got waiting there right now, including an absolute ton of bauxite. A million kilograms. What's that? A thousand tons of bauxite. All going to different places. Nice. <clears throat> it's good to see that starting to get off the ground. Still have no idea what our profit loss is because of that glitch. Uh, I don't even know if it's ever going to be possible to fix that glitch, but hey-ho. For those of you that don't know that glitch, it's probably a good thing that you don't know that glitch because, believe me, it's frustrating. Um... I was going to say something else. I can't remember what it was. Anyway, yeah, let's start looking at this then. So, first and foremost, let's do a little bit of groundwork. Uh, so, this road here, I like the idea of this road here being kind of our boundary road. And then we kind of build it like, build it up like this. And then have this go along like so. And then up like so. Maybe having another road here and connecting that one up too. <coughs> Excuse me, I've got a very bad cough still. Um, did I mention that? I don't actually know if I mentioned that. If I didn't mention that, I've got a very bad cough still. So it might periodically come up. Um, I might try and mute the microphone to cough and keep the recording going. I don't know how well that's going to go, but we'll see. Um, and there was something else I was going to mention, which probably isn't that important actually thinking about it. So I'm probably not going to deal with it too much. But yeah. Let's uh, let's have a look at this then. So, I want every part of the um, terminal to have uh, a bus stop there, obviously, so that buses can come in and drop people off. I also want there to be a couple of docks per, and maybe um, some eye candy stuff as well. So, the easiest thing to do would be to build something like this, uh, and then have... I build this out one whoops one more um and then have you know that's a terminal that's a terminal that's a terminal 
and that's a terminal. That's great, except you can already see a problem, which is it doesn't line up. I think if I actually do this, it probably would line up, which would be nice. So that's a terminal, and that's a terminal. Yeah, that does line up. Well, that's slightly better, like so. Um, these could potentially then link up as well and have this maybe as a layout. Let's see how this goes. So we're going to place these down. That one, that one, that one, that one, that one. So we've got six here, which means we could potentially have six def destinations or we could even increase that number and go for more. I like the idea of going for more. Um, we'll see how this goes. I also want to change the road type here. Do I want to go for concrete or is that going to look too boring? It's okay. I tend to use concrete for more industrial stuff though. So maybe I will just stick with town roads. I'm not I'm not a huge fan of town roads. Maybe B road. See what that looks like. That kind of works. I'm not against that. We'll go with this for now then. Alrighty. And then we're going to get... <clears throat> excuse me. There's the first one. We're going to get these set up like so. Now, could I fill these um, bits in here as well? I probably could. Something else I could actually do, thinking about it, is... First of all, name these. So, let's go with, like, Lay Hill... Cruise Terminal... Uh, what what are they actually called? The then are they peers or are they births? I think births is probably the right word, isn't it? Uh, that might be something worth googling, actually. As random as it is, what do cruise ships dock at? Oops, I completely spelt cruise wrong. In that. My keyboard didn't register register half the strokes. Uh, oh, it could be a pier or anchor offshore. Okay, so I guess piers then. Just go with pier, nice and simple. So, uh, I mean, I could keep berth, I suppose, but we'll go with we'll go with pier. So pier one, and then this one here is going to be Lay Hill uh, Cruise Terminal here two and then cruise terminal pier three uh, cruise terminal pier three and you get the idea four five six um i am going to name all these now though so i know which one's which when it comes to routing and stuff so four that's no way central. Not even close to being central. Five, and then finally number six. Good start. Now you you'll notice as well that we've got whoops. Uh, cruise terminal pier six. Now you'll notice that we haven't wrapped around here yet. This might be something a bit more eye candy-ish, in hindsight. Um, and you'll also notice we've got this canal here that goes off this way, which doesn't actually go anywhere right now, but it might do in the future. You can kind of see the route that it would take. And then you can also see this one here, which has been made smaller because of this bridge. I would like to not have this bridge just ever again, but I think I need it still to get freight trains from um, Plintbridge Parkway there over to the line here. Because we do have freight trains that go that way. We also have a passenger train. Uh, but it doesn't use this bridge. So potentially this bridge could be removed. Um, if it wasn't for these two lines here. This bridge wouldn't need to exist in the first place. So maybe I could do something about that. I'm already looking and seeing there's potentially something I could do. If I move this bridge over one tile. Then uh, maybe this this tunnel here wouldn't have to be where it is, which means this could then be moved over one, which then means that this bridge could be moved over one, and then that could still be a canal. That's that's an option. Um, but yeah, this runs through here, through here, through here, and deposits out into this lake, which could then form a river or a canal that runs north. Who knows? If we build something like that, it would probably be like the Grand Northern Canal. But that's, that's not for today. 
today is completely different to that. Um, I don't know why I didn't just say today's about something. Yeah, anyway. So I want to add... Oh, one thing I forgot to mention is I'm back on my desktop now. So, yeah. The, uh, the game is a bit bigger than it has been in the last few weeks. I could amend that by changing the font size, I suppose. I'm also looking up a lot to try and find... That's airports, Mark. Um, to try and find things that I'm looking for. So you'll have to bear with me if I don't click on the right things immediately. So we've got dock tiles here. Um, we've got water-based tiles here. Cranes and stuff, which we don't need to worry about because this is not a cargo um, terminal. This is purely passengers. I think like things like this as a water-based tile is really really cool. But I don't I just don't I just don't know basically. I just don't know. Like this as well. It's annoying that the dock has to sit on a flat slope like this. It can't be like this for example. So because of that, you're kind of penned in a little bit as to what you can do. I kind of want the, the piers to be at the end of like a roadway though. So I, I almost feel like these bits need to be... So uh, if I get like station tile, uh, let's go with this one. And then if I go to... Uh, actually, I don't... I think I can do it without that. Where's... There you go, roadways. Maybe not that one, actually. There might be another one. There's overlaps there, roads and fence. No, that's not the one either. Gates and road, potentially. Oh, God. I'm really struggling to see the top of the screen right now. It's like the color balance is off or something. Um, Yeah, that's not what I'm looking for either. I'm looking for not these roads with, like, walkways and stuff. But other roads, and I sh I thought I had some, but I don't think I do, unless it comes under a different set. I got, ah, wharves and marinas, water tiles, roadside objects. Oh, this could still be promising. Um, Wharves and marinas sounds good, and jetties sounds good, particularly for cruise ships. So, if I can find... A seaplane? No, that's not quite what I'm looking for. Um, if I can find something good here, this is one of the reasons why I wanted to build this, you know, on camera with you guys here as well. Obviously, this isn't a stream, so you guys can't tell me if I've made any mistakes or anything, but um, too many times I build this kind of thing in a time lapse, and I really don't feel like I'm able to get, like, live or not, no, not live. What's the word I'm looking for? Like, I, I don't feel like I'm, I'm giving you guys the full experience as to how long some of these projects actually take these aren't easy uh, some of these are very very challenging so I've, I always like to be able to do an episode like this every now and then a live build where you guys can see firsthand that you know this is a bit of a slog kind of thing um, I think if I go like this and then uh, I just noticed something as well that's what I was looking for yeah there we go uh, so that's going to be a a, um, a dock there, Mark. So you don't build that one there. But the next one along, this one, is going to be a gap and then 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 a gap. Like so. And then uh, I guess here it's just going to turn in via one of these. And then... Uh, i got to stop saying and then. What? I, there was a comedy thing I think where there's a character who just keeps saying and then over and over again and it's really really annoying and I, is it like key and peel or something I can't actually remember boy was that annoying though uh, can't build on water are you joking what do you build this one on then uh, what am I looking for and why can't I find it is it this one yeah I think that's the one I was looking for there you go so we kind of got a little bit of a jetty going on here now. 
Um, all I've got to do is fill in some of these blanks. That's helped with that one. And then if there's one without like fences on, that'd be great for filling in these blanks, although that looks weird. Also, this bit's going to be uh, like a walkway anyway, so that's fine. Uh, actually, I don't, I don't like this. That one, that one, and that one can all go away for a second. There must be one without... Oh, here it is. Yeah, there it is. Uh, one without fences on. Also, all of these... Oh, you can't build these ones on water. Okay. Um, yeah, this one and this one are facing the wrong way. And that's something that I always find annoying about these sets. Is... You have to find ones that point the same way. Is that one? No, that points the wrong way. What about this one? That also points the wrong way. There must be one. Uh, what about this one? That's a can't build on water, isn't it? Oh, no, that is the right one. Oh, there you go. If I do it like that... Actually, no. No, no, no. We'll have the little step, because then these boats can come like down and round like that. Alrighty, and then I need to find the... Oh, what have we got here? Joins Narrow Wharf. Can't build on water again. Oh, it is... Okay. Interesting that that exists. I guess that goes... Uh, Yeah, Wharf on Slope. So that would go like there, for example. Right. Gotcha. Uh, I actually can't remember what tile that was now. That's... That's not gone well, has it? Um, it was one of these. This one? That one can't be built on water, so we'll have to find... I'm going to go with this one as a guess. Nope. Nope. Also, nope. What is the one I'm looking for? Why can't I find it? Uh, help! Is it one of these ones? Nope, can't be built on water. That's really annoying. Why can't I build you on water, damn it? I don't want this just random gap in the middle of my jetty. Uh, that one, this can't be built on water either, can it? No. So here's one of these. <clears throat> and it's not that one. It's not that one. It's not that one. And it's not that one. So it has to be th this one. Oh, there you go. There you go. Okay, found it. Right. So these can also go like this. I think we can get away with this purely because of the... Um... Oh, that's not going to look good at all. That looks awful. Um, we should be able to get away with this because of where the dock's going to go. It should mask it. But this one here. Nope. Okay, we're running into that problem again. Of which one do we put down? That covers this. I feel like I need to stand up a sec to actually be able to see what I'm doing here. Bear with me. There we go. I've kind of got a desk that transforms into a standing desk if I want it to. Right. So I think this one here. Nope, that's the one I had before. That is the one I had before, which is definitely not to the right one. This one, maybe? Or is this the same one again? It kind of is. Uh, or this one, if it has... No, I need, I need one where the... Um, the slats are pointing a specific way. Oh, man. Yeah, I might have to give up on this little bit here for now. Maybe just have this loop back on itself. So, um, <clears throat> at this point here, uh, where's the corner? That one, maybe? Yeah, just have it do that for now. Alrighty, that'll do for now. That'll do for now. And uh, I filled in this gap down here again when I shouldn't have. There we go. Right. 
Let's see how this looks with docks actually in place now. And then we'll come back and do the rest of the eye candy. So your peer number one. Your peer number two. Three. Four. Five. Whoops, nearly pressed the wrong one then. And six. And that actually looks pretty good so far. Pretty good. Okay, so in terms of ships and boats, what have we got? Not a lot. Not a lot. Fishing trawlers. I can't believe there's no like passenger ones. You've got motorboats, sailboats, nothing interesting. Um logs. Don't know what that's all about. And then you got uh yeah, things like I know these are Australian objects, so they're gonna be based on Australian things. Uh but I'm not a huge fan of any of this stuff, to be honest. It doesn't look that interesting. So what other roads have I got? Do I have roadways for the airports? I do not. I could just type road in here. And see what we get. Road overlapping tiles. Then we got these roads. Which could work. But we don't really have junctions. Then there's those roads that also don't have junctions. And then there's these roads that don't really have junctions either. Although this one does have things like this. If it lets me build them. Where's the one where it goes? There we go. And just saying that, I've put it in the wrong spot, so I'm going to have to move it anyway. Because I'm good like that. Uh, so yeah, you're going to go here. And then we'll have another one here. And then I guess another one here, but facing that way. Then we need... Are there any straight roads? Oh yeah, these ones. Like this. And then uh these ones there, there, and there. Actually, are these are the are there any gates? That looks like a gate. It's like authorized personnel only type thing. Come on. There we go. And then another one here. Like so. Then I need a curved road that runs like that. And then, yeah. Actually, do I? No. This is going to be a curved road. And this is going to be a curved road. Like that. This is going to be nothing. Okay. Anything else? Uh, I don't think so. That's fine. So let's see what we've got under ship now. Not a lot. Really not a lot. What about dock? Dock overlapping. Eh. When well, we got some buildings. That's not terrible. It goes in the water though. But it's not terrible. Do I have anything like terminal? I suppose I could use the airport ones. Those look reasonable. There's the bus terminal ones here. Then there's airport terminal. But most of these are... Oh, that one says airport, so I can't really use that one. I could use this, though, if I like stuck that there-ish. Maybe put one here, too. could just put a whole line of these. And then one there, and then the last one there i mean that kind of floats on nothing right now but hey that could work um and then maybe fill some of these gaps in like that that looks okay-ish looks okay-ish and then i need something that covers the ground actually i also want to put so as well as these being like terminal um bus terminals for this, I could actually put some more 
stops here and maybe build a second road. But I, I, I think I might be just doing too much here. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do. It's not even close to what I wanted to do. Um, do we have, yeah, this one. If I pop you there. Actually, that doesn't really work. What am I looking for? I want something, uh, something like this maybe. I don't want the gaps though, which I could fill, I suppose. So like if I put one of these down again, I could just fill the gap with this, like that. That actually looks kind of cool. Don't mind that. And then um, do the same thing here. So pop you down and then fill you there and fill you there. Like so, what does this one look like? That's a big one, so that has to go somewhere else because I think they're all the same size. Yeah, they definitely all look the same size. Maybe put that there and just have that as decorative. Uh, put some ground tiles underneath it maybe. And then finally, we'll get one of these ones. So let's remove some buildings. Uh, we don't want to annoy Lay Hill too much, but I wouldn't mind... Um, Getting one of these and then also getting this one there. And I, mean, I could just stick that one in, but I don't think that's a good idea. Do I not have any that point the other way? Oh, wait, no. Why don't I just grab something like this? Or this one. And just stick that in. There you go. You wouldn't even know there was a gap there. Okay. And then finally we'll go with something like ground. So we've got ground here. And we've got ground here. So this ground tile one is good. This one's also good. Um, oh, we've got variety here at least. So that, that kind of... It doesn't really match the road, but it matches the the dockyard a bit more. I feel like this needs a, like a fence around it or something. What have we got with fences? I know there's the Oz one with fence. Yeah, Oz fences. The fact that this is its own set as well is just crazy. Uh, this is a good one. Electrified. Seems a bit excessive, but... It's electrified at least, so there's that. Um, or we could go with this time. I mean, that's basically the same. Security fence. That's okay, I suppose. I've seen worse. I've seen better. I've seen worse. Um, and then maybe we fill this area too. I knew that was going to happen. Um... What was I doing? Security fence. This one. Do we have a curved one? Yes, we do. So you can go there. And then... Oh, it's slope aware. That's why it's doing that. Is there a non-slope aware one? Uh, I don't think there is. I actually kind of like this, though. It's not the worst thing in the world. And then it'll come up the slope there, but we can just put a um, curved bit like that. Because at that point, you're not going to climb in and go over the uh, the canal bit, are you? Or maybe you've got a death wish, but I don't. So, yeah. And then we'll go back to, was it Wharf? Jetty. What was the one? Oh, it was Wharves. Yeah, Wharves and Marinas. We'll just grab this tile again. And that should squeeze there. Perfect. Wrong, wrong way. It's pointing the wrong way, Mark. Um, perfect right now I need like buildings to go in this gap already I'm thinking I've not left myself enough room uh, which is kind of annoying so oh we've got city buildings that's quite nice finish station buildings freight buildings interlocking buildings farm buildings just these buildings um these ones maybe 
I need one that just looks like a passenger terminal. I could just get the airport terminals, I suppose. If I go back to terminal. Uh, I-N-A-L. There's an I in terminal. There we go. Right, terminals. So we could get something like this. Or maybe this one. Futuristic looking. And then just stick that across. Like that. Like that. And like that. It looks a bit plain. That's the only problem. So where's the... Hang on a sec. Make this invisible. So that's the middle bit. Yeah, that doesn't work. What if we do this? This. And then have this one be the um, the decorative one. Eh. There's no doors or anything on them. And I think that's part of the problem. I might be able to do something about that though. Like if I grab something like this. Would this go on there? Or is it because there's a... Yeah, there's a dock in the way. Ah. That's actually very annoying. Um, it's not the worst. You can actually see little doors in them. So it's not... It's not the worst. And actually what you could do is... Uh, if you get... Uh, what I was going to say was... I mean, you could put that there. And that looks like a doorway. And you could put that one there, and you can put that one there. So you can't do it on this one, because it would look too big. But these ones here, you can imagine that's the exit to the building. And actually, when you do that, it doesn't look too bad now. It actually looks okay. It's still not perfect, and it's still not ideal. But we're half an hour into the video now, so we're going to call that good enough. And I'm going to take a seat again. Apologies, you can hear me like scratching around, by the way, as I'm moving to and from my chair. I'm just trying not to run over my foot right now. Um, okay, so one last thing I want to do before we plan out the first cruise. Actually, there's a couple more things I want to do before we plan out the first cruise. The first one I want to check is what passenger ships we've actually got available. Because uh, it'll be a bit embarrassing if I don't actually have any ships that are good enough. So we've got like big ferries, like this one. 800 passengers, only goes 20 miles an hour. But that capacity is pretty good. That is pretty good. You've also got things like catamarans, which are faster, but with less capacity. I like this one. I actually like that one. I think that would be the one we choose. So that's fine. That's all good to go then. Um, I also want to get waypoints up, because I don't think I have any along this part of the... So I've got loads down here. So th basically I want to run a cruise ship between Guard City here, or at least Lay Hill, and Morningpool Falls, which has been set up and ready... Oh, this was me clearing out the lake, by the way, in case you're wondering what that was. Uh, this canal has been set up for, what, two years now? Maybe longer? And we've just done nothing with it. So just a test bed. I want to get something running out here to Morningpool Falls. If it works, fantastic. If it doesn't, then at least I know that it doesn't work. Um, but I really, really want to do more with ships. I keep talking about ships and air and, and buses and things like that. And I've done quite a lot with buses and I've done quite a lot with airports now. But I've still done next to nothing with ships. So I think this is a really, really, really good opportunity to kind of right that wrong and do something. Um, I am also going to work on a bus terminal. I'm probably going to do it off camera or next week or something. Um, a bus terminal here at Lay Hill Station just so that these passengers actually have somewhere to go to. When they get off the boat. Right. So, yeah, I want to add some waypoints between Lay Hill Lake, I think I'm going to call this now, and the center of Guard City, or Guard Lake at least, this bit over here. Now, I could possibly round this corner off a little bit more. I mean, already I can see if I get rid of that. Then I can do that, and that rounds off that corner a little bit better. Um, the tricky bit is along here because we've got we've got jetties that just stick out into the middle of the water, which is not ideal. I don't know why I just did that actually. Why did I just do that? Let me just unpause the game for a second. I don't think I'm recording game audio, so you're probably not going to hear anything. But I need this to go away now because when I run the first test ship in a minute, it's not going to work properly. 
Um, this is the Guard River as well, I've just realised. So that helps with naming these waypoints at least. God, I've given myself a right neck ache doing this video. Don't say I never put my body on the line for you guys. Right, so this is... Guard River... Guard River, Lay Hill, Lake, uh, Exit. Yep, and then this one is Guard River, oops, Guard D with a D, and then Lay Hill. Lake uh, entry. You'll have to bear with me if my spelling is off as well. It's not that I can't spell. Believe me, I, I do my best to spell. Um, it's mainly because I've got a steering wheel attached to my desk still from when I do streaming with racing games. And it's a lot easier just to leave it here and it kind of blocks my keyboard slightly. So I say you'll have to bear with me a little bit if my typing is erratic, shall we say. All right, let's pop you there and we'll pop this one here. I think we will end up with ships overlapping each other still. And to be honest, this part here is pretty much a straight hop all the way down. So I might just be lazy. But these two here. Uh, and then uh, I want to put one there, but I don't think that's going to work. Actually, let's move these over one. So again, we're going to have a blocked waterway. I oh, know we're not. Well, that's good at least. Put you there you there and then that might wrap it around enough for it to reach here and here cool and then from there we should be able to go straight across to over there so this one here is probably just going to be linding hatton maybe east and west or something like that or um so this is what east we'll just put guard river in front of them I don't think there's actually a, a log of waypoints, so it shouldn't be a big deal. This uh, water bus, though, I might get to go via these as well, just to make sure they are going the right way. West. It kind of is running to them anyway, but then it does stop at Lindinghatton, so I guess that kind of would throw a, a spanner in the works. Did I? Yeah, I did register. It's really hard to see spaces sometimes on here as well. God River, Linding Hatton West. Nice. Now you are going to be God River, Rinfingford North. Like that. You can pretty much guess which one this is going to be. Oops. South, and then we'll just stick Guard River in front of it with a D, preferably. There we go. Guard River, Rinfingford. Did I put a space between? Again, it's so hard to tell. Uh, if you're actually, do you know what? Just now, so that I don't forget in a second, I'm going to change the font size and also. Oh, I think it automatically does it now, which is nice. I could just change the resolution, but that doesn't really. Oh, no, there it is, interface size. So if I double U as well, that might be easier for you guys to read now on mobile. Because I know you guys, some of you guys watch on mobile. And actually, that's been a big help to me. I can sit back in my chair now. That's a, a huge relief. Right. Yeah, again, I don't want to alienate the mobile viewers because I watch on mobile as well. So, um yeah. Uh, oh, hello. I need to open you again, though, so I can actually see. There we are. Ooh, and then we need to pin these as well so I can see. I've also got to remember that the edge of the screen uh, is here. Like that. Mainly because I've got... Um, I've changed the, uh, the scale on OBS again so that the top and the bottom don't have huge black bars. I think they've still got little black bars, but not big black bars, which is good. Right, this is going to be Guard River. 
uh, north. Guard River East Bank North. Guard River East Bank South. So the Guard River actually it runs through um, Guard City. So the bit where the uh, the canal what was it the Great Grand Union Canal I think I called it. Uh, this bit I mean you can see here Guard River West. Boy one east. Yeah, the, the names suck. Back then, I don't think I knew what I was doing. Kind of just went from here around, and that's one. Kind of like what I do with the uh, the railways, although Riverside, Boy one and two. I don't think all of these were named. Some of them might have been, some of them not. I don't actually know. I thought I did name them all when I added them, but I, yeah, I just I just don't know. Um, but yeah, this is the Guard River here, and it runs into the city here, and originally it just turned north this way. But it also does now, of course, run this way too. So it kind of forks. But we don't need to worry about that. So what's this one called? Guard River West Guard Lake Entry. So this is going to be East. Guard River. Is it Guard River or Guard Lake? Guard, yeah, Guard River uh, East. Guard Lake Exit. Well, that's a long name. And then this one is going to be pretty much the same, except Guard River um, West. No, East. What am I doing? East Guard Lake Entry. Guard River, East Guard Lake entry. Yes, good. Right, done. Um, I should probably build a cruise ship shipyard somewhere. A smart person would do that. I think for now, I'm just going to pop a depot down and just not have a depot as part of the schedule right now. Oh, that's not what I wanted to do at all. Um, yeah, I'll just, like I don't know, stick one there for now. I'll just not have a depot as part of the orders. We'll add that in later. Right, let's grab this then. So I want the um, Magdalena Ferry, if that's how you pronounce that, of course. And we'll pin you, we'll get rid of everything else. So right now, you're going to go here. Uh, pier 1, actually, do we want Pier 1? Or do we want Pier 6? No, I'm going to go Pier 1. Screw it, why not? You only live once. Right. And then I'm going to kind of do it like this. And then we'll come back and do the other ones. I think that will work better. I've also got to make sure I don't hit the order cap, of course. Uh, right, you should be able to reach over to here. And then it's that one. That one. That one. It's a bit narrow around here. I can kind of see the in real life this would be something that maybe a tug would... Um, would get involved with getting the ship through here. You could almost say it's a legacy thing. They couldn't build a, a new cruise terminal outside of town, so they just had to stick with doing it the old-fashioned way. There we are. Now, do I want this to stop anywhere along the way? I'm kind of tempted to. Um, so we have another terminal just outside the city and I think I am going to utilize that one because it's one that I want to kind of build up a lot and those familiar with the channel will probably know what I'm talking about hopefully if not then you'll see it in a second so we'll go up like this and we'll go across the top of the locks here down the other side and here at uh, Flaffingford Docks. Because this is going to be built up a lot more. It might even like utilise all this area here as well. Uh, it makes sense having the station here as well. Then out of town. I think it will just be better to be honest. Right. And then we continue west. And now I'm glad that I built these um, boys and everything all that time ago. And it's boys, by the way. It's not buoy or anything like that. It's boys. 
Anyone who says differently, to each their own, sure, but you're wrong. I hate to say it, but you're wrong. It's boys. Because it's buoyancy. You don't say buoyancy, do you? You say buoyancy, so it's a boy. Unless you do say buoyancy. I don't actually know, actually. I don't actually know, actually. Wow, what a sentence. Put that on a t-shirt. Right, yes. So there's a, there's a few things encroaching on the water here that I might have to deal with as well. Which is a bit annoying. Grand Canal, that's what it's called. Are we actually nearly there? Oh, that's cool. So it's not that long a journey. It's only like a hundred odd orders. Uh, and also the uh, the dock here at Morningpool Falls will get like changed as well. Um, a lot of this is legacy from um, before the freight terminal was rebuilt as well. Is this used by anything right now? I don't think it's... Oh, actually, no. I think it is. Yeah, it's used by that. So I kind of need to put this in the right spot. I think originally it was there. Whereas now it is going to be there. There we are. And then we're going to go Morningpool Falls Arrival. Down into Morningpool Falls itself. And then we're going to come out via Departure. And then back this way. And again, we'll stop off at, um, was it Flaffing Pool? I can't, can't remember the name of it already. That's good, isn't it? Um, the other docks that we stop at along the way. Wow, the, the encroachment from these industries is really frustrating. I have turned that off now, by the way. I'm pretty sure industries just don't get built anymore unless I fund them or when other people join the game, which will hopefully eventually happen. To be honest, the, uh, the database... Um, I want to take this game online and there's been some really interesting developments with the database. I don't think I've mentioned these on camera before, but we were talking about it on Discord a couple of weeks ago. I said some like flippant comment about or some, you know, throwaway comment about, "Oh, it's a shame that I can't actually plug the database into the game as it were for it to actually read the real life data from the game and be able to adjust the timetables and things accordingly." And at the time I thought you know, it's it's a feature I would love to be able to have, but there's no way that's possible, right? Apparently, it might be possible. Um, in fact, I think it is definitely possible from what people were saying. It just requires a special version uh, of the game, a, a, my own individual patch pack, and I just don't have the knowledge or time or probably patience to actually do that. So, again, a, a, any professional, amateur independent coders anyone really involved uh in in coding who thinks they want to have a crack at that do get in touch um i'm very interested in in actually exploring that now because um as i said i want to take this game online and the server that the database is hopefully going to be stored on will also run the game that's the plan i don't know if that's possible either but i imagine if it, if you just use a virtual machine to have both then it should be doable. Um, and the plan was always to use a virtual machine of some kind to run a, a, an online game anyway. And therefore it can run 24-7. I don't have to have my desktop on or my laptop on 24-7. And people can join and leave as and when. And I can always remote connect into it and, and do maintenance and maybe even play the game at my end from that. Uh, we will see. But um, yeah, waiting for the database now before I commit to taking the save online uh for a few reasons just it's easier to operate i think if there's a, a structured database in place it makes adding vehicles a lot easier it makes maintaining vehicles a lot easier just you know all that good stuff basically makes my life easier which makes well yeah just makes my life easier to be honest um so hopefully the database is coming along i was told it was to be worked on this week uh the coding for it uh again i understand you know these things take time teething problems and all that stuff but hopefully we'll have some updates in the not too distant future hopefully that would be very very nice if that were the case right i think this is all set up now which is good so let's do like just a generic 60 minutes on everything um yeah i think 60 minutes on everything even the the intermediate ones will be fine I will do uh, 20 miles an hour here. I think the speed limit through the locks is 20 miles an hour anyway. 
That might not be a thing anymore though, because I think when I first set this up, boats didn't stop when they went through the lock, whereas now they do. So, oh, I can't read those numbers. That's ridiculous. The interface. Um, oh, I've also just realized that that's the edge of the screen for you guys. I mean, you can kind of see it with the cutoff. I think it's doable. Apologies if you can, but I think it's doable. Um, is it 30 or is it 50? It is, might actually be 30, which is, yeah, it is 30. Well, that's fine then because we're not, we're not reaching that speed anyway. So that's fine. Because I believe the top speed of this vehicle is 20 miles an hour. And it is. So that's fine. Alrighty then. So in, in theory, this is now ready to go. Um, I do have somewhere a script. Let me try and find that actually. I have a folder of scripts. Um, which didn't work on my laptop. But it might well work on here. Yes. Yes. Uh, well, I have the folder. I don't actually know if it works. Let's open up a random. Let's do that one. Okay, might be working. I'll open up Schedule Dispatch. Put this in the center of the screen. What's the button you press again? I can't remember. I think it's. Is it Control? Control J? Something like that. Uh, I'm looking at my script thing. Uh, yeah, Control J. So if I hover over Enable, no, sorry, if I hover over uh, Add Departure Slot and I hit Control J, there we go. Now, that's not what I wanted to happen. That's um, that's apparently long haul flights every twenty minutes. I don't think so, unless I did something wrong. Did I do something wrong? Hang on one second. It might be because I opened it with Notepad. Uh, oh no, that is what it says. That's definitely not right though. Um, one second, because I've got to go into Task Manager now and close. That one, there we are. There's one in particular, is it is it freight I'm looking for or might be off peak sixty. I need to set one up for I'm gonna do the freight one and see what that does. Okay, here goes. Control J. That's doing every twenty minutes as well. I feel like these aren't changed. <laughs> these haven't changed. Yeah, that that can't be right. That can't be right. I think I need to to resave these files. Maybe as where I've copied it, it just hasn't gone through properly. Uh, I'm gonna do like a, a every two hour let's say so we'll get rid of the even numbers oh wait no yeah we'll get rid of the even numbers so I'm having a brain fart here uh Okay, now if I save this as a new name, um, I'm going to call this, where are my documents, scripts, um, I can't find what I'm looking for, it's an AHK I think. Is there an all files thing? No. I uh, I can't find what I'm looking for. But I'm going to call this auto timetable. Um, let's go with like cruise. Whoops. Ship. 
Something like that. And we'll save that as it appeared. Yes, it has. Right. <clears throat> if I run this now, and go back over here, get rid of all these, obviously. Now, hopefully, this will work now. Control J. There we go. Nice. Um, although, saying that, I did miss some out. So I will go back and very quickly edit this uh, and then resave it. So, first of all, I just forgot some numbers, which is dumb. So we'll have like early morning. Oh, there should be one at five. Why isn't there one at five? I don't know what happened with that. Also, my antivirus is now kicking a fuss. Alright, save. I want to close this. You have to bear with me. It's, it's been a while since I used this as well. Ah, oh, there you go. There's two instances of it running. That probably doesn't help, does it? Okay. Auto. This is Auto Hotkey, by the way. It's one that George recommended. Um, I just haven't used it in a while, so I can't remember how it works. There we go. That's better. Right. So this is now set up, basically. I'm going to run it. I'm probably going to do that maybe tomorrow because it's getting quite late in the day today. And then um, go from there. So this might be something I end up doing more often is not having depots added on the list. One thing I want to do. So like over here at the Overground Depot, for example, I will know when the database is done how many vehicles we can have in this depot at any one time. So obviously you've got the number of tracks here, but it'll be the number of tracks and then also how many vehicles are entering, how many vehicles are leaving, things like that every hour. And the idea will be we don't have trains going to and from this depot over here, the actual depot. Um, instead, they will come in here and then they will sit and they'll wait for their next turn. That's the plan. That's one of the things that the database is hopefully going to help with. For that to work, are you trying to go to depot by any chance? Oh no, you aren't leaving. I wonder why it's not using this track here. Weird. Um, but for that to work, obviously the database needs to be complete. And there's a few reasons why the database needs to be complete. That's an important one. Um, but once it is complete and once it is operational, then um, we'll be able to start decommissioning these actual depots. We might still need them occasionally for auto replace, not auto replacement, auto renewal. That's the one. Just so that trains don't get too old. Uh, I mean, how old is this one, for example? 33 years out of 50. So this one's fine right now, but it might get worse. Who knows? Um, it should also help with the timetables then. Because I now can slow down the day length factor even more. So we're not blitzing through the years as much. Um, make it feel a bit more realistic. Because service schedule is one thing that messed up with that. So I might just have... It will come to the depot here if it needs servicing. So say if its reliability is below a certain amount. It will go to the depot. Come back here. And then it will wait its next turn. And we'll use a conditional order for that. It might mess up the timetable a little bit. But if I literally have it that it just reverses in and then comes back out again immediately without it waiting, then scheduled dispatch will actually use this as its first order and therefore hold hold trains here instead. And you can see why I need this database and this timetabling system because we can't have this many vehicles just sat here not doing anything all the time. It becomes a bit of a nightmare. Um, plus we'll, we'll need extra stabling facilities across the map. Uh, so it won't just be main depots like this anymore we will actually use other stabling facilities and trains might go there during the day as well it won't just be a nighttime thing and again it just makes the the network a lot more realistic but that is going to be another problem for another time hopefully we'll have some updates on the database in a future episode um i really 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 want to get it working by the end of the year that's my goal um that's me setting a goal having no idea whatsoever whether that's actually achievable or not but if it is great that would be perfect but yeah i'm gonna test these cruise ships as well and i'll keep you guys posted on how well that works out but for now 
thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to hit the like button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, if you're enjoying the series so far, drop those comments down below with ideas for future episodes. Let me know what you think about the cruise terminal idea, first of all, and also the design. It's it's kind of warming on me. Some of these buildings look better than others. I am going to put like a little park or plaza or something under there just to make it look nicer. It's a small cruise terminal, I'd admit that. I actually drove past the one in Dover not long ago, and it's not as big as you might think. Like, obviously, cruise ships are big, but most of the the actual, like, lounges and stuff are just on the ship. So you go and register, you walk through a little bit of a building, there might be, like, a security check or something, and then you just board the ship, and that's it, you're done. And then most of the actual check-in is done on the ship. So you don't need many facilities on shore. You might need something like refueling, which is something I can add in future. Maybe the refueling isn't done here, it's done somewhere else, like over here. We've got land around this area as well. We've got this whole section down here, which could end up being um, a cruise terminal in the end. We might actually just rebuild it, use the lake a little bit more. This could just be Mark 1 of um, Lay Hill Cruise Terminal. We'll see. But yeah, thanks for watching. Hit the like button. Comment down below. If you haven't already subscribed to the channel, be sure to hit the subscribe button. If you have already subscribed to the channel, thank you guys for your continued support. And until next time, I will see you soon.